my robot dog, Goddard. <laughs> Canal Cinco, or Channel 5, is a Mexican television station that's been running since the 50s. The station's target audience is mainly aimed at children, broadcasting shows bought from Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Despite this station being one aimed toward a younger audience, they have been making some disturbing social media posts that have gone unexplained. On the official Channel 5 Twitter page, their posts are all ordinary, except for when the late hours of the night roll around typically around 3 o'clock in the morning. They will post unnerving videos, only to remove them before dawn. Many of the witnesses of these videos have been able to grab recordings of them before they were removed. Here are a few. <laughs> Since this began, the Mexican media has been all over this, trying to figure out what is going on. Mexican news site Infobay Mexico contacted one of the collaborators of Channel 5, who claimed they didn't know anything about this. The rabbit hole seems to go deeper than just a few unsettling videos, however. In one of these Twitter posts, the video was accompanied by the text, Selena. Many people believe that Selena is a reference to a disturbing broadcast on Channel 5 that occurred 20 years ago. Pedimos ayuda para localizar a Victor Gama Tavera de 20 años de edad. In the earlier days of Channel 5, between programs, they would interrupt with a community service broadcast. It was sort of like an Amber Alert, and would broadcast information about missing people in hopes that a citizen could bring useful information about them to the police. Nothing was ever particularly creepy about the broadcast, it was just a bit dark for the children that saw it. They would regularly be pulled out of the happy world of whatever show they were watching and be plunged back into a cold reality. One particular broadcast that stuck with a lot of kids for some reason was the one that mentioned Selena Delgado Lopez. Selena Delgado Lopez, de 18 años, extravió el 22 de abril. For whatever reason, this image unsettled the minds of many children, which later sparked some interesting theories about Selena. Many people started to suspect that Selena wasn't even a real person, mainly referencing the fact that her photograph was so poor quality and that the facial features seemed generic enough to be computer generated. This accompanied with the fact that no one could find any public record of Selena Delgado Lopez quickly turned this into a well-known Mexican urban legend. Even today, there are creepy hoax videos people create to help the legend live on. I'm still not sure why Selena was the image in this broadcast that started up an urban legend, and not any of the other poor quality faces included in the broadcast, like Pamela Martinez or Manuel Rosas. Regardless, you can see how Channel 5 referencing this legend in their creepy posts brought even more attention. Now, one thing I want to point out that I'm sure you've already noticed is that these disconcerting videos that Channel 5 is posting weren't actually made by Channel 5, but are actually just re-uploads of weird videos that have been on the internet for a while now. The most obvious of which is this one. Time for lunch, lunch, lunch. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch, crunch, 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 crunch. 
I'm sure most of you recognize that this is Michael Rosen from the Kids Poems and Stories YouTube channel. Time for lunch, munch, munch. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. With very little searching, you will easily find the sources of all of these videos. So what exactly is the purpose of Channel 5 doing all this? Although no one is totally sure, we do have a pretty good idea. Spanish news site, Merca 2.0, suggests this is likely a media publicity stunt, citing Twitter analytics that demonstrate how much attention Channel 5 has received as a result of the mystery. Just Google searching Canal 5 brings up some videos related to this as some of the first results. It's even made its way to American media, as you can see here so it's clearly working. I also want to say that it actually isn't all that odd for a television station for kids to broadcast things of this nature. Although Channel 5 is a station directed toward a younger audience, at later hours, the station airs shows directed toward a wider, older audience. Much like how Cartoon Network plays kids shows during the day and then airs Adult Swim at night. And you've seen how weird some Adult Swim bumpers can be. In all likelihood, I'm sure this is just an interesting publicity stunt. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side. I also want to take this time to address the coronavirus. I know this all really sucks right now with all the economic distress and the social isolation and whatnot, but I just really want to stress the importance of staying safe and not violating the quarantine so we can all stay safe and hopefully get through this a lot quicker. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to covid19responsefund.org where you can donate to the World Health Organization to help speed up our understanding of the virus. So whether you're going to donate $1 or $100, it doesn't matter, every little bit counts. I'm also going to leave a link to a resource with greater information on how to stay safe. Thanks for listening.